The Wilson Report shot the U.S. report into action, and in 1906, the groundbreaking consumer protection law was enacted. The Pure Food and Drug Act forbade the manufacture, sale, or transportation of unregulated food and patent medicine containing harmful ingredients. This law also required food and medicine containers to carry accurate ingredient labels. People were taking drugs and eating food that they believed to be natural and helpful. However, they did not know what they were actually consuming. In the early to mid-1800s, more manufacturers started to produce food for sale in many stores. There were often chemicals and preservatives in the food products that were harmful to the public, but many did not know due to lack of information. This was no longer a domestic issue, but a national epidemic affecting consumers all over the nation, and people were not going to just sit by and watch this happen. As large manufacturers began to produce more food, more people were getting harmed. Eventually, people began to take notice of these negative effects. A large portion of America's population was beginning to become concerned with what they were consuming, and they were wondering if it was good for their health. There are many investigations by professionals concerning the consumption of certain foods and drugs. Eventually, the government actually declared most of the foods not only unhealthy to a person, but poisonous. Many recalls were made by large corporations to abandon products because of potential health concerns. Many big governmental organizations got involved, including the President Theodore Roosevelt as he signed the Pure Food and Drug Act and Meat Inspection Act on the same day in 1906. This act ensured a truth in labeling and required companies to have a standard for their products. The safety of these products was assigned to the Bureau of Chemistry. This sparked an interest in ensuring healthy foods throughout America.